All right, welcome to Old World Gaming. Um, I am in the middle of uh, painting my Grincrack model um, as a war boss uh, for my Night Goblin army that I'm in the middle of doing. Um, we've just done the uh, purple in the last uh, episode. Um, and for this episode, I'm going to be painting uh, the um, bandage. I don't know what you want to call it, maybe a bandage. Um, the reason I'm doing this, I didn't want to do this. What I wanted to do was I wanted to paint his armour. Um, I want to do a nice kind of yellow armour. Um, but I realised that while painting... Uh, in order to paint this, I'd need to paint the skin, um, like his face first, because there's no way I'd be able to paint that without getting green like all over the all over his face mask. So I need to paint the paint his face before I paint his mask. Um, but uh, before I, if I'm painting his skin, I'd also do his hand. But before I can paint this hand, I need to paint this. Because again, if I'd painted the hand first, there's no way I'd be able to paint this without getting like whatever color I do this all over his hand. Um, so we're gonna do this first. Now, I've already done, I don't know if you can tell, um, the light makes it really hard to see actually, but I've already done a layer um, of dark brown. I used uh, Rhinox hide um, on his staff already. So you don't have to watch me literally just paint his staff. All I've done is, is just paint it. <laughs> um, so I've done that as kind of a, a base coat. <clears throat> Um, now I was uh, going to use Mournfang Brown and go up uh, to Baneblade Brown, but um, so that would give. If we go back to the Fanatics, that would give kind of this this colour on the skull, which is a nice colour um, and the same kind of colour as as the teeth, um, and that's all right. But I think I'm going to go um, up from black. Um, to bang, bang, bang. So I'll uh, I'll start by mixing it. It'll, go, it'll be a bit of a greyer a greyer brown um, when we do that. So that's that's my plan. Um, so to start off with, going to give myself a little bit of black. And put that on my palette. And get some bang, bang, brown. Oh, I just realised I've left the clock in the room and I'm sitting on the squeaky chair. That's the trouble when I get so excited about doing my next video. Um, I forget to move them. It's alright if I'm doing my videos back to back but this has been a day since we did the purple. Um, so yeah there we go. Um, right so I'm just mixing this to get my first kind of uh, base layer for the um, bandage Bit. I don't know if bandage is the right term. Bandage feels like there's a wound, um, but it kind of is bandage. Looks like bandage to me anyway. Um, hmm, I might use some bang blade brown. So I might have made that a little bit too thin, have I? Oh, maybe it's all right. I'm just worried about it taking too long to dry. Okay, so here we go. This is a nice colour. I like that colour. Um, so I am, um, yeah, I'm just going to do this basically all over the bandage. I'm going right up to the hand because this is going to be the um, the shadow uh, in the in the hand um, and around the edges. So I'll go right over the the lip as well. Um, so for shadows, the shadowy bits can touch other areas. Um, when I start painting the uh, non-shadowy areas, um, I won't touch any other adjoining areas, so just like I did with the um, the purple, if you've watched the purple video. Um, I made sure to leave essentially a border around the edges. I don't think I've mixed enough of this paint, so I'm about to run out. <coughs> it's um, drying very quick underneath this light. It's something I should realise. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's, I'm going to mix a little bit more paint. And... Let's get a bit more water on that. Yeah, 
finish with this. Should be able to finish that. Yeah, there's not actually all that much to finish, it's just annoying that I have to mix a little bit more up. There we go. Just right here. Okay, so that's that lot done. Now we've just got the bit at the top of his head over here. What I really want to get is a um, some sort of tripod for my phone, so I don't have to have it resting on the light for various reasons. Um, the first one, obviously, that uh, it's a bit of a falling hazard and has fallen off on a number of videos. Um, the second one is the angle. I feel like if I had the phone um, uh, kind of angled about the same direction as I'm looking, it'd be far easier for me to see what I'm doing and make sure that the uh, that it's easy for you to see at the same time. Um, so if anybody wants to link me a uh, cheap cheap trial, I'm, I'm I'm on a genuinely on about a cheap one not too expensive just for now because i don't know if i'll uh for karen doing this depends on how how much people like my uh like these videos if you like the videos um make sure you do like and subscribe and and comment and uh and share them around as well because i don't know uh, it's, uh i'm very hesitant to spend any money uh, on any equipment um, because I don't know if I'm really going to keep doing this long term. Um, okay, so this is the next colour. I don't know if you can really see that. Um, yeah, I guess you can. So it's uh, obviously a lot lighter. So this is just pure Bane Blade. Now, am I going up too high too quick? No, I think that'll be fine. So we'll do another layer. I'll do one more layer, probably, which will be like, wait, is it just one more layer? Hmm... Yes, okay, so I'll do a Bane Blade layer, uh, and then I'll do a Bane Blade and, uh, and White Skull Mix, uh, White Skull Mix layer. Let's get a little bit of water in this so it's not too thick. And that is not a little bit of water. That is probably a bit too much water. There we go. Thankfully, it's just Bane Blade, so if I run out, I don't have to mix, mix the colour again. So that's the best best position to be in. I can see it's still wet down here, but thankfully the top bit uh, is dry. So my eyes just went a little bit funny there. Um, can't really see what I'm doing really. It's very hard to see in these bandages. So what I'm doing is I'm actually following the um, the bandage kind of pattern and leaving, I don't know if you can see, leaving a gap in the, uh, the creases of the bandage. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do all the way down uh, where there's these gaps, this crisscross kind of places where there's the gaps, I am going to leave the gaps. So I'm going to leave most of them. I'm also not going to go right up to the hand. Um, so there's a bit of shading there. So it's quite tricky because it's round. I can't see necessarily where the pattern's going to go because it's because it's round and they crisscross quite arbitrarily. Um, I don't. I can't um, necessarily anticipate where where it's going to go. So I actually have to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. Um, which just makes it a little bit harder as well. Particularly whilst trying to show the camera at the same time as seeing what I'm doing. But I'll do my best. Sorry, I'm concentrating quite hard here, so that's why I'm not talking so much. So you have to forgive me a minute while I just concentrate. 
can listen to the clock. I'm sure that's uh, is a very soothing sound. Has got use after all. I, mean, I don't know why I say that. Of course, clock's got use. Tells me the time. Let's see what's next. <coughs> I'm going to go down here because it's the easiest bit to see. It's quite a whirling pattern of wrapping round and round and up and down, crisscrossing. But I quite like this colour that it's come out. So the black and the um, yeah, black and the brown, plain blue brown mixed. It's quite a nice colour. I don't really know what's going on there. I'm just going to join them up so they don't look so patchy. There's a little bit of uh, artistic license on this to kind of do what you want. The key thing is making it look neat. Yeah, I think that looks all right. Okay. So for this next layer, this next layer is going to be particularly tricky. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, my what I'm going to try and do is do highlights um, on these uh, on these strips, like at the each side of the strip. This is going to be this is going to be tough. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's what we that's what we live for. It's the the tricky stuff. Okay, right. No more talking about it. Let's do it. Right. Let's do it. So we're getting some white now. Let's I don't know if that's too light. Might be too light. Well, I'm gonna go with it. I think it's probably too light. Let's see. Try this bit down here. Yeah, it's a little bit too light. So a bit more. A bit more down there. Yeah. Actually made it much darker, but there we go. All right, it makes me feel a little bit better. Only a little bit though. Okay, so I don't know if you can see a little bit far away. I am painting around both sides of this strip and leaving my bane blade brown in the middle. Oh, sorry, I'm off camera. Um, so yeah, so can you see that? I painted around both edges of that strip. Um, and I'll do that on the, oh, I think I'll start with the big strips. Some of these have got like, so I'm trying to paint the 
highest areas. So on those, the raised areas were the outside. On these, the raised areas is the middle. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. That's what I'm doing. So there we are. No, I'll survive either way. Yeah, I might take that down a bit further. Maybe it was the wrong thing to do, actually. Paint the paint just the high edges. Or just paint it till it looks good, to be honest. Mm, that was the wrong that move just there was the wrong move because I painted too much. Um, But we're getting there. We are getting there. Okay. Yeah, that's looking. Hmm. Is it looking alright? It's looking alright. It's not looking amazing, but it will do. Yeah, it's looking a little bit scratchy because my paint is quite. Uh, brush. Yeah, I'm not I'm not hugely pleased with it. But it's just because right at the edges it looks a little bit scratchy. I'm trying to think how I can stop that. There's like tiny bits and you can make a big difference um, just by adjusting it in a tiny place. It's it is quite interesting. Okay, um, oh, we have done most of the back as well, actually. Didn't realise that, so that's good. Oops, that was probably a little bit too much. I'm going to stop here. But in terms of the colour, I think this was the right move, the black and the vein blue next to go. So I'm happy with that. Right, I think... That is this more or less done for that strap. Yeah, it doesn't look as good as I was hoping. At least maybe it looks better not directly under that light. All right, well, there we go. He's got his strap. It looks all right. It may look better when the, the whole model's done and it's just like not under... Uh, not under a daylight bulb. But yeah, there we are. We'll find out. All right, cool. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. You know what? I can't leave it like that. I'm actually, what I've decided to do, I'm going to do an, one more one more layer. I'm going to mix up with the white a little bit higher. Okay, see if this... This makes the difference that I'm after. I was a little bit annoyed. Okay, let's let's see. All right, this is my last ditch attempt to make this a little bit better. Uh, let's see if I can be a little bit happy with it. Oh, just close that. Don't worry. So I'm just doing the very extreme highlights on the top to represent it catching the light. Now I paint is slightly thicker than I like, but oh hum. So yeah, I'm just doing the very, very topmost bits now. Very, 
Bring your highest highlighty bits. Um, let's do that bit as well. The highest lights. We'll do this top up here. Yeah, that does look a little bit better. And do that in the back. Oh, we're already on the back. Amazing. Okay, I'm a bit happier with that now. That does look a bit better. Uh, okay, right, there we go. Now I really, really well finish the video. Okay, thanks for watching. If you liked it, like and subscribe and uh, yeah, share it around. All right, cheers, bye.